bumper off of the Grand Prix. I found that we needed, we need to wash your bottle. We need to wash your bottle motor and the level sensor. I had to order them. I think they're going to be in today. We're we'll still trying to paint today. This thing is driving us crazy. We got, <coughs> excuse me, we got a, a wire somewhere is goofing. So we're, <coughs> this thing was almost done. We have to tear it, tear it back down. Next thing is to take a steering wheel out and find if that's where the wiring issue is. You see how we got all part Wayland does. We're, we're so we're, we're this close to having this thing ready for sale, and she's got one silly issue. This one, really close to primer in it. I got this. I don't know if this is the last bit of primer or not. Or putty, I'm sorry. I do not. A couple of nickels here. I might have to put more coat. We'll, we'll see. Here's the bumper. Got a brand new bumper. You can't get new parts. Not a perfect. I'm telling you, it's just about impossible. Are we something? Man's fault. Some nicks here I had to touch up. When I'm done, there will just be a very small amount of putty in each spot for the nicks. But that goes to the Grand Prix we're trying to get ready and paint today. All right, diligence pays off. It was one wire that wasn't pinching the relay good. They finally got it figured out. So this thing is, that, that was our last issue on this car. Slap it together, do a little bit of buffing, put a super clean to it, and roll it out of here. Daniel is, change my radiator, right? It is a radiator. Daniel's putting a new radiator in this. Plugs and wires. This is the Highland Country we bought for a while back out of Tennessee. Me, I'm going to go in here and I'm going, Lord willing, I'm going to change this mirror. I'm going to get this bumper slapped on this dude. Put the bumper inserts in it. Put it together and I'm going to still, I think I'm going to try to paint this day. We'll see how that goes. Getting pretty close to lunch time. My tummy's letting me know that too. Nice now. All right, this thing is, we're doing final assembly on this thing. All right, before we get some lunch, someone go up here and help him. Let's see. All right, took the parts off the junk bumper. Put on the new bumper. Waiting for, I got, I got this part already. This is here, the new one is, that goes here. This one's got the, the tip broke off, see it there? Where the water comes through. That guy right there. He's broke off. And this, we got, this is uptown. I hope AutoZone's got it in stock. They're supposed to be there today. It's a fuel le or a level sensor. Get them on it, slap us together. I'm still hoping to paint this today. I don't know how much my hopes are gonna be up. Depends on how early I get the parts here. And uh, let's see, here's, Junk mirror I showed you. New mirror we put down on here a little bit after lunch. We'll be grabbing me a bike. Daniel's got this thing. Looks like he's about ready to start going back together. Putting plugs and wires, like I said, and a radiator in it. And hopefully I can start driving that thing around a little bit while I go running on the weekends when I do. All right, I'm gonna go grab me a bite. Bumper on this thing. So this thing should be ready for sale no later than next week. We're about whipped on it. This, I'm getting ready to put the washer pump in this, this guy here. Okay, here. About as simple as you can ask for doing something, just, let's see, slip it like this. I mean, up, up, up. what did I say? I just now tore it up, probably. What? It's not as simple as I thought it was gonna be. There it goes. Ah, the world is burning my bottom right there, man. Let's hope it seals. Oh no, oh no, is it gonna seal? Yeah. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Plug it in here. I'm blocking the camera. You guys are gonna be seeing all kind of crazy stuff on this one, like twisting and junk. Okay, and there's a clip. I'm gonna do the clip. There's a clip that goes on it. And that, there it is. See that crazy looking clip? I'm trying to find the camera, I don't do a very good job. <clears throat> okay. Get that thing on there. Come on. That is really. I'm not doing well. Let's see. What in the world? <laughs> I don't know. Is that how it goes? Maybe. Maybe or what? I might have to turn this off to do it because I'm thinking I'm too stupid to do it while you're watching. So, finally got this piece. It goes in here. Level sensor. Just like it is. Put it in like that. There we go. And we're going to test to make sure it will leak. 
I had to change that thing. That thing was driving me nuts. It was point four, so I put it back in the. I put it as a down back in the car. Right there. The door, I'm gonna let go of the door. Watch, let go of the door. Much better. It sucks it shut good. I it might have sucked it better there than, than the floor, but I needed it to suck down, not over. My opinion, that's my preference, but who knows? Anyways, this didn't get painted today. It's after five, and we had somebody test driving the car. We're we don't get back, so I was piddling on it. I'm gonna fill it up with some liquid. Washer fluid. See if it leaks or not. Hopefully or not. And head home. Oh man, this this is nice. Oh, that don't work. Oh, that don't work. Okay. Anyways, the boys got this thing running nice. I'm in the town and country. 06 town and country. Let's show you something. It's got 111,000 miles. They found out the other day. I don't know if I told you. So I don't think I did. They found out. Number six cylinder was missing, so they changed the plug and wire to number four, and then number four was missing. So we got plugs and wires, put it today, which I was showing you. Got the new radiator in it today, and man, it runs good. It runs really good now. This is going to be my, if, when I do my Dan's Inbody Experience YouTubing, like I hope to keep doing some, I'm not going to do it like every single day, but I'm going to try to keep putting some on, maybe hit some weekends and do some filming, throw it out there. But this is what I'll be driving, Lord willing. This is my plan is to be driving this thing. I like it. Let's see what let's see what kind of mileage I'm getting. It. Well he left it run for a while, so I'm gonna let me try it without kill myself. It's averaging 17.4. Now, it sat at the garage and idled for a long time today, so you know that kills the average miles per gallon. I'm thinking this thing will get right at 20. It's not great, but when you're used to driving a big van like I am about 12 so 20 sounds pretty good you're almost double of what I'm used to getting so we can handle that like little van it's it's got the the map program but you gotta buy the CD for the update or something we won't be doing that because I got my phone for that yeah I really enjoy driving this thing going home we'll get ready for church and I hope you guys check back with me tomorrow I appreciate you guys watching me I know you got there's all kind of good things you could be doing with your time but watching me. I appreciate you doing that and taking the time and I'll catch you later.